Hey guys, it's Mimi Ashroth, and today, well, I've been meaning to do this video for so long, so here's my Q&A video. Yay! Also, quick note, I want to thank you guys so much for the 4,000 subs. It's really been an honor making videos for you, and I am really looking forward to making a lot more. So in that case, let's go ahead and start the Q&A. First question by... Lisa Smile, I believe that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I mispronounce names, I'm not very good at this. So please bear with me if I do pronounce your names wrong. I do apologize again. Let's see. It says, Are you a fan of the Spider? Cool song. Have you ever seen Holland dances? It is fantastic. I want to talk with you. I'm from Belarus. Aw. If you mean Spider, you mean Spider-Man? Yeah, I'm a big fan of Tom Holland as a sp as the new Spider-Man. I used to be a fan of the Tobey Maguire original Spider-Man, but Tom Holland has really proved himself as the new Spider-Man. Andrew Garfield, I'm okay with him. I'm not really um like in awe with the original, not original, but the second installment, which was what the Amazing Spider-Man. Not really a fan of that, but it was enjoyable to watch. I will admit that. And yeah, I've seen him dance on quite a few things, especially in the Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live with his umbrella cover. I recommend you guys to check that out. It's very hilarious. Okay, next question by Tia Hatter. Are you using a camera for filming? Yes, I do use a Canon camera that I got in 2012, so that camera's kind of outdated, but it still does the job. Number two, what is your favorite anime? Right now, my favorite anime is My Hero Academia. I will not lie, I am totally in love with that series and I can't wait to see how season 3 is going to unfold. And then even at that, I'm trying, I'm barely beginning to read the manga so no spoilers for me please. And third question, MMDs or SMs? MMDs or SMs? Um, more of SMs, which is basically stop motion. Stop motion for sure because I have can actually control everything in stop motion. MMD, yes, it's nice because you actually get to see the real life and not real life but like the your animation coming to life and stuff, but it's very complicated compared to stop motion as well. Because um, for MMD, you move the bones, you move like the bones, the fingers, the mouth, the eyes, down to the like feet and stuff, and it's kind of hard to keep up with when you're compared when you're usually used to stop motion, which is usually the the main five to eight articulation points. So you can see a big difference. Plus on stop motions, I feel I have a lot more fun because I can actually get to dress up the dolls and it's a lot easier than dressing up the models on um, MMD because on MMD, it's very, you have to like literally kind of make a new model to make, to change your clothes. It just gets complicated because then you add physics and like physics skirts and hair and all that other stuff and it's just a hassle. I d if you want to try MMD, I do recommend it. it. I do recommend everyone to at least try it and see what they think about it. But it does get a little hectic. But like I said, it is very rewarding once you get the hang of it. Next question from Nefera MH. Do you like Ever After High or Monster High more? I do like both. Honestly, it's very hard to pick them. But if I had to, if I had to choose, I would have to choose. Monster High because I've always been a fan of the original Monster High series and I do love Ever After High. I do appreciate Ever After High more ever since Ever After High kind of ended. No one really knows for sure if it's ended or not, but the way that things look, it, I'm sad to say it, it's probably come to its end. But definitely, I do enjoy Monster High. I've always enjoyed the original Monster High. The reboot, not so much. I haven't even seen the first movie, so I can't really give my opinion. But that's pretty much what I think about it. Number two, what is your favorite song? Right now, my favorite song is from Star Set called Telepathic. That one's my favorite song. So if you haven't checked out Star Set, I really do recommend it. They're such an underrated band and it's just amazing, especially the instrumentals in the middle of each song. Uh, it's not disappointing and if you're especially if you're into this whole space scenario I really do recommend you at least give it a listen and number three favorite doll my favorite doll is of course Jackson everyone thinks my favorite doll is Kyle and yes he is one of my favorite dolls but Jackson is always and will always be my favorite doll because he was one of the first I got and it was really special because he was like a birthday gift from my husband at the time boyfriend and he kind of struggled a bit to get this doll for me so it really means a lot and i treasure him to this day 
Next question for Monster High Lover TM. How long does it take for you to edit your videos? It does take me quite a bit to edit them. It takes me about almost a week. It just depends on how busy I am at the from the time that I did stop motion from the time that I'm editing. It just depends on I guess it just depends on my life schedule. Okay, next question from Trouble Free. Let's see. Favorite doll? I already answered that. It's Jackson, and if not, it's Kyle. Um, favorite YouTuber? I really don't have a favorite YouTuber YouTuber for doll tubers. I have too many to count, and it's really hard to pick just one. So, I may just list... I may put a list under this description on who, who I enjoy watching the most and stuff like that. Uh, favorite food? Uh... I don't know what favorite food I have, honestly. I guess I can say apples or strawberries. I love those. <laughs> okay, sorry I asked. So my questions are favorite fairy tale before or after ever happened ever after high? I'm sorry. Um I'm guessing they mean by like what is my favorite tale before I start watching Ever After High and what was my favorite after watching Ever After High? My favorite before has always been Beauty and the Beast, and Beauty and the Beast has always been number one. Um for after ever after high it's still beauty and the beast no doubt about it and then afterwards i had an appreciation for snow white i guess because of the whole apple raven scenario going on during the ever after high series it just made me appreciate it more let's see next question for everything about stop motion my favorite thing is that i get to control what happens during the stop motion i can even make up my own storyline for certain songs i have stuck in my head and then other times I can make my own series about one of the stories I wrote from long ago or a story that I'm writing on right now. And how would you feel about a huge doll fandom crossover project? Like if we all chipped in to do a crossover movie for Monster High Never After High? I would love that honestly. It'd be challenging but I would really love to see how that would come out. Kami asks, why Kyle and Apple? And why South Park characters mixed with Ever After High? Where did that idea come from? Ooh, well... It all started when I created the soap, um, stop motion music video priority. Um, I wanted to use Apple, but I didn't know what character to use as her leading man. And I had just finished creating my Kyle custom at the time. And I was like, you know what? Kyle's just there on the floor. Why don't I try him? See how this works out. And then I ended up using them together. And I liked the idea of them being together. Soon afterwards, I started creating a bunch of these stories about them together. And how the whole Cupid thing. You know how when she crossed over from the land of Monster High to the world of Ever After. It kind of made me think, well, if Cupid can transfer, why can't other characters transfer? And then I started creating all this little stuff. But I'm going to reveal more of that later at the end of this video. Because that is a part of something that I'm actually working on right now. So, stay tuned. Okay, Cerise Granger Studios asks, What is your favorite food? Uh, again, I answered that. It's strawberry and apples. What kind of music do you like? My favorite kind of music, honestly, is alternative rock. I love alternative rock. I've been listening to that since the early 2000s, 90s, uh, from when I was a kid. And it was the music that kind of like my dad listened to on a certain station. And then pretty soon I started listening to it. And then he grew out of that music. But I still continue to listen to it. It's just that. Number three, what do you like to do on your free time? <laughs> Well, for this, I like to go to a website uh, called Gaia Online, and I'll leave a link in the description of my profile so you guys can check it out. But the only thing is, if you want to see my profile, you have to use a computer for it or something to help it. No, I don't know. It's just something weird. Um, from there, you can see all the fan art, my friends that I talk to, and all that other stuff. And just that's just a fun little game to me, honestly, like a fun little RP game. Let's see. Also, can you subscribe to me? Of course, I usually subscribe to whoever asks me to. Okay, next question is from Monster High Fantasy. First question, your first image doll you've ever gotten, it's Jackson. Uh, what or who inspired you to get into creating stop motions? Well, I started to watch a lot of the basic YouTubers, like doll tubers, you can call Kiki Cream, um, Catcher Lissa Kitty, now known as Kills Motion, I believe. 
I watched those two for a lot, and I was like, I love the way that the stop motion came out. You can bring it to life and stuff. And plus, there was not really a lot of AMVs for all these different Monster High and Ever After High characters. So I was like, you know what? Why don't I try something different? And I ended up getting my dolls. I started doing stop motion slowly. Of course, it takes time to perfect stop motion. I'm still not even perfect at stop motion. I still mess up from time to time. Believe it or not, I do. Honestly, I'm not perfect at all. But... Yeah, I just like the idea of creating my own stuff as well as seeing others create their own stuff and bringing that to life. It's just a fun little thing to do. Next one, how long did it take you to create your customs like Eric, Kenny, Kyle, Stan, Marco? What custom took you the longest to create? Well, it takes me, like I said, it's like stop motion. It depends on how motivated I am to finish um, creating that custom. And sometimes I can put it off from like a month to a year. My quickest custom, of course, was the Kenny one because Kenny, he's practically like two characters. He's Alistair and he's Kenny. The only thing is that I just changed the outfit. So I still have my Alistair and my Kenny. So he was very easy. Um... The one that kind of took me the longest was Kyle because of his rerouting. All I did was literally just take Dexter Charming's head, cut off the hair, reroot it from red from his brown hair to the red yarn, and I colored in his eyes from blue to green with fabric marker, and it seems to do the job. So there is this other few customs that I am working on, but I'll reveal more of that later at the end of the video because it does have to do with the new thing I'm working on right now. Next question, why did you start shipping Kyle and Apple together? I, like I said, I like the idea of them being together and plus Kyle is always being screwed over in his series which is South Park and Apple, she's just looking, yeah she's all like I want my destiny this and that but soon I make her character seem like oh it's not that bad if you don't get what you want that it's better that you go with life and it's surprises that it has in store for you let's see on average how long does it take you to make a minute to two minutes stop motion uh it takes me a few days if i'm really determined if not a week i kind of did answer this earlier but it does take me it just depends on my schedule but yeah it usually does take me a week to at least do a minute will you be making more stop motion memes in the future yes i do plan on doing that for sure it's just my lamp is still broken I'm just waiting to fix it or get a new one. It's just I'm tight on money right now. Favorite Monster High doll? It's Jackson, of course, because although he is my first, he's still my favorite. What inspired you to start making MMD videos? Well, I just like the fact that with MMD videos, I wanted to see what my dolls look like created MMD style, and that's what I did. And I found out that other people have created um, other characters too, like another person's created Apple. Um, another person's created all these other characters that I use and I noticed that not a lot of people made these characters other characters from especially from the Ever After High and Monster High so I started creating that's when I created Daring, Dexter, Rosabella, and Duchess because they don't really have a TDA style model which are more for the MMD memes and videos and all that other stuff Let's see, that's all I have for now. I hope that's good. Oh, it's good. Of course it's good. And sorry about your lamp. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about my lamp too. But it's okay. I'm just, like I said, I'm just saving money to get a new lamp. But I will eventually. It just takes, it just takes time to get that money. That's it. Alain Agami stop Brazil as you're pregnant. Your Facebook says something about that. No, I'm not pregnant at all. Um, my sister is pregnant. For those of you that follow me on Facebook and other social media, which I'll link below if you'd like to follow me. Um, but yeah, she's pregnant and now I'm going to be an aunt, so I'm all excited. I'm having a little nephew and uh, I just can't wait for him to come. Okay, another question from Sorry Night asks, Will there be a series that kind of follows up on Echoes and Nobody, like Kyle being used to Monster High, but he has to deal with some other realms slash conflict with Daring? Ooh, I want to say, but I don't want to say because you were so close and I, uh, I'll reveal that later. Like I said, the end of the video, it's gonna have a lot more details and stuff like that. Also, how insane is Cupid? Like, is she strictly love struck or what? Um, in a way, yeah, she's stuck on, De um, Dexter, my bad. She's stuck on Dexter, but of course, Kenny likes her. He 
For those of you that follow the South Park series, obviously y'all guys know that Kenny is so struck up on girls, so any girl he sees, he, he falls for in a way. Kind of like Heath, honestly, if I were to compare him to a Monster High character that y'all guys know. He's like Heath, but more uh, vulgar. I guess that's the best way I can explain him. Okay, Trouble 3 asks also, happy wedding anniversary. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate it. And she asks, what made you start a doll YouTube channel? Well, like I said earlier, I just wanted to- I honestly created this channel back in 2011 and I didn't do anything for the longest time until I got into doing AMVs but then like I said earlier, I wanted- I liked them dollar AMVs but there were hardly any and then I was like, oh, I, come with, I stumbled upon stop motion and that's how I started creating stop motion. Would you ever get into complete customs like hair reroute, face paint, basically one of a kind doll? Um, yeah, I would love to honestly. It's just I don't have the necessary tools to make a complete face repaint, and plus I don't really trust my uh, trembling hand, which is funny because I do stop motion and I can't even control my hand. Hair reroute for sure. I've already started doing hair roots on a few doll custom dolls. I've already explained earlier, but. Like I said, uh, I'm gonna explain more about that later. Let's see, number three, who inspires you? Oh, a lot of people inspire me. You're one of them, of course. Uh, Monster High Fantasy is one of them. Uh, Kiki Cream was always been one of them. Catcherlista Kitty, um, Zombie Corn. They've always been um, my inspirations. Okay, Jasmine Creamsky asks, can you start on Monster Series? You got. I'm a huge fan. Oh, thank you. And for the monster series, if you mean Dear Agony, it's actually a discontinued series because a lot of the original voice actors kind of dropped out on it. As of right now, I have no plans to reboot that series, but for now, if you are curious to see how that ends, I'll put a link also so that way you can be able to check out the Dear Agony series on Wattpad and or on Instagram or even fanfiction.net Rose Jane asks, what kind of computer do you have and do you have Photoshop? Okay, what kind of computer I have? It's like an HP um, notebook, I think that's what it's called It's like the red version, it's just simple um, something simple and do I have Photoshop? No, I don't have Photoshop but I, what I do use is Sony Vegas Pro I have the version 13 of it. Now that brings us to the end of this video for the Q&A section. Like I promised, I did say I was going to bring up on what's going to happen eventually in the future. What I do have planned is obviously a new series. But about that new series and about my previous series is The Echoes of Nobody and now this new one which is a working title, but I might stick with it. I'm going to be calling it The Point of No Return. These stories are actually linked together. And in Point of No Return, it's going to bring the original characters from Echoes of Nobody to close off this little mini-series. I am going to read off a few notes. So this is, no, well, not really spoilers, but this is like something to give to y'all since this is like a little 4K special as well. And with that, you're going to also get introduced to a few other characters, which is, of course, Daring and a few OCs. Well, not really OCs, but they are based on my friends from that website I told you about. And those are the customs that I have been creating. So once I'm done finalizing the script and I got everything and I think that everything's good to go, I'll announce uh, auditions for that. The confirmed characters I will reveal, which is obviously there's Kyle, Daring, Apple, Draculaura, Raven, and then these are the OCs, which is Winters, Pocky, Nashua and Zisa and then of course there's the villain but I'm not gonna reveal the name because obviously it'll be a big giveaway and also during this I'm going to explain more about how Kyle like how he actually got to Marston High and how all that played out and how the different realities how you can get to each one of them I don't want to give away too many detail on that I may add more characters, I may not, but it just depends on which way the story goes while I'm finishing up the script. And with that in mind, this brings me to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much again for watching, and stay tuned to see what else did there come. Also, when I get the new lamp, I will be working on a few stop motion music videos, that's obviously in a few memes as well. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!